what's going on guys welcome back to turner fishing so today we're going on an adventure guys so we got a unique situation i was here about two weeks ago under this bridge right here at cranes land and i'll show you exactly where i'm at i ain't scared come fish so there's a lot of pre-spawn staging fish on the bridge they wouldn't bite so i'm hoping i can get out here and I'm gonna go past the bridge. I'm gonna hit some coves and go back in the pocket and I'm gonna see if I can find some early, early spawning black male crappies. And then we're gonna go home, cook them up for the kids. So hopefully we can get on a few, enough to eat, make some fish tacos tonight. Y'all stay with me. We're gonna use a cork and a jig with crappy man jigs and hopefully lay into them. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe. It means a lot. We just hit 6,000 subscribers, so we are steadily growing. Oh, and another thing before this video starts. If anybody around the Columbia area has a bass tracker or just something with a steering wheel that you have for sale, make some payments, arrange some fishing trips, you know, message me on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, shoot me an email my email's down below anyway guys let's go catch some crappy and cook them up for the nice dinner there he is uh-huh knew that monkey milk would get him not a gigantor but pretty good one number one right there There goes one right there. Come on, bite it, buddy. Oh, he wants it so bad. <laughs> Get it. Oh, he gave up on it. There he is, on that cork. <laughs> yes, sir. That's a better one. <laughs> Got that, just a little cheap cork with old monkey milk on it. Fishing about, I don't know, three and a half foot. Number two. Get her back out there. Oh, I found one on the bank, guys. We got a male crappy. <laughs> First one in the spawn. That is a freaking dark fish. Golly. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is freaking awesome. Oh, let me strap the chest cam back on. Let's, let's see if we can get a, a few right here. He bit it. Oh yeah, I believe there's some on beds, but it's not as good as people want it to be right now. Water temperature is 61 right here. But I mean, these fish are just pushing up. They're not really, like I'm not bed fishing right now. I'm basically brush pile fishing, but really, really shallow. This is where we caught that one earlier. Hopefully I can catch one. There he is right there. Nice one. Nice male crappy. <laughs> Get 
Yes, sir. That fish is just beautiful. Not a giant by any means. But being able to catch them up here, you know, less than six feet of water, it don't get no better than that. Nice one. Make sure he's legal. You coming home with me, buddy? Yeah. Little 10 incher. Looks small when you catch all the big ones all the time. I ain't trying to toot my own horn there, but. <laughs> I'd be thinking a dang 10 incher I ain't a keeper sometime. But. Yeah. It'll help because that now I'm six feet of water right here. At the house. Got my old bucket set up right there. We got some pretty nice ones. Didn't get a limit, but hey, we got enough to eat. So I'm gonna fillet these bad boys up. Get them in some cold water. Let them soak for a little bit. And then I'm going to transfer it to some uh, Frank's Red Hot in a Ziploc. And when we cook supper tonight, I'll bring you back. And we're going to fry these bad boys up and make a little fish taco. Alright guys, it is supper time. So, got our cold monster. We got some flour. Put a little bit of gar uh, onion powder, Tony Satras, garlic powder, salt and pepper. We're going to use that to shake it up. We got our fillets and some French Red Hot. We're waiting on the pot to get to 350. We're going to fry them bad boys up. process we'll go ahead and shake all these flavorings up <clears throat> if y'all enjoying the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me first catch and cook i've ever done on the channel so get that good and shaking up right there yeah now we're gonna take our fillets and the red hot go ahead and drop us some in there Joker looking good. Big old female right there. Another big old female. <laughs> we'll put about four big fillets in that little bowl right there. Then we're gonna do the same step. Get them covered real good. Now we're going to head over here to the grease. Get your good fillet. Knock the excess off of it. Lay it down in that, that grease real slow. Get her cooking. Now we're going to fry these for about three, four minutes. They're going to be just right. Two more batches of fry, but man, I just can't help myself. Tell my brother they hit burger. <laughs> oh man, that Frank's red hot. 
I'm telling you. That's the way to do it with that Tony Satchel. Give it a little bit of spice. Good to go. I'm gonna fry these up. I'm gonna make the kids some tacos and let them try it. All right, uh, tell me what you think. Got you some fish, lettuce, sour cream, guacamole. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What it tastes like? <laughs> it tastes like fish. It ain't spicy. It ain't. Mm -mm. Is it good? 